What's going on guys? My name is Wild Kezo. Welcome to another Let's Game uh, with Oblivion. Um, I've been having some audio issues, if you guys can tell. The last video was all sorts of messed up. Um, I'm hoping the audio will be better in this one, but the only bad thing is I won't be able to tell until I go ahead and review it. So if it's awful, I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, um, I guess we'll go ahead and start off here. Should I go to this one? Alright. I'm trying to think because I recorded another video and uh, made my way down on the anvil. You know what? I'll just load this one up. I'm gonna move away from him because he's just yelling in the background. Anyway, in the video that I last recorded, um, we went up to the Blades Fortress and completed the other quests. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't live streamed. Um, and I went ahead and made my way down to Anvo, and I was thinking about starting on the Knights of the Nine quest. So. So yeah, um, like I was saying in the other video that wasn't recording, um, I went ahead, uh, where did I go to? I went to this fort here, um, and made my way through these over here, did some, uh, plundering, got a good bit of gold, um, as you can see I got the blade set, that was from, uh, going up and completing the other quest. Um, I don't really have anything interesting, I don't think. I do have a bunch of stuff to get rid of. Alright, enough of that. So I need to find wherever this guy is in here. Is there a problem, citizen? Hmm. Oh, what happy so, another one who has come to listen to the madman's rantings? No, not exactly. I already thought you. Once there were eight divines. Then five of Septon became Talos. And the eight. Uh, I, I follow the old way of honoring the eight while also giving due to Talos, the one who ascended. Are you a worthy knight? No, not really yet. A humble heart is a good starting point. The gods will decide if you are worthy to seek the rest. The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. Why and how they act is not predictable. What I can tell you is that, traditionally, knights who wished to quest for the relics would walk the pilgrim's way, travel to the way shrines of the nine divines, pray to each of the gods in turn, and ask their favor upon your quest. 
If the gods deem you worthy, you will be granted a sign. Go forth with the Nine's blessings. See. How oh, cool. We didn't get a map. Walking the Pilgrim's Way is the traditional start of a holy quest. Follow the map I gave you, visit the way shrines of the Nine, pray, and wait for a sign. All right. May the eight and one guide your steps. That's nine, by the way. Look well upon them. All right, let's see. Then to that one, this one, and that one. And that one, I think. Good place to start would be here. We can just work our way up and around, I guess. Let's see anything else. Another quest that I went ahead and did off camera um, was part of the arena uh, quest line in which you talk to the grand champion and you have to go find out, or he wants you to go find out um, some lost secret. He's supposed to be a, a prince of some sort. And um, you gotta go, whoa, lag. Okay, I hate the computer. Thank you very much. You had to go over here to Crow Haven and basically try and find the, the secret or whatever the lost secret to his um, right to the throne in quotation marks supposedly and what ended up happening was we ran into a vampire and there was actually quite a few vampires down there and we found a journal um, that belonged to the lord vampire that was down there and basically it told us that the grand champion of the arena is the spawn of a vampire. So he wasn't too pleased to hear that at all. But he did give us, I think it was plus three to blade, um, plus three to athletics, and plus three to block, I believe. I'm not quite sure. But anyway. Oh, where are you going? Hi. Wait. Bye. Right. Oh, what is going on with my computer right now? Come on now. Uh, let's see if I can fix this situation. Yes, it did. 
entire left side of my screen right now. And now the computer is off. Come on. What? Where you go? Really? Ah, oh. Hey, look, he's waving at me. He's just like, bye. He's just riding down the hill. You guys see a shrine say something, so I don't run around looking like an idiot. Well, that will be a given. Okay, fog. What's up, fog? Really? That isn't even... Should be around here ish. So let's head back away. The camp looks bad. Got it. Got it. Wow, that bug sucks. That's one thing I do not like about how does a wolf carry gold? Where is it going to put the gold? I'd love to know that. Actually, no, you know what? I take that back. I would not love to know where it puts the gold. It puts the gold. Oh, fuck. Killing me right now. going to be a long, drawn-out series of events trying to find these shrines, if you want to see that. Stuck in a hill. Really? Why is it that too far away right now? Can't see a freaking thing. Aha. We have found a shrine. The shrine of Arcane. One down, a bunch more to go. Now, the next one was Amara, and that was up by Kvetch, I believe. Yes. No, way past Kvetch. By Skin Dead. So, to Skin Dead, we go. So yeah, 
they kind of took away the um, the whole easiness of fast travel in, uh, in Skyrim. It now costs money to fast travel instead of just being able to fast travel back and forth. You don't have to sleep anymore to level up, though. By the way, guys, if you haven't had, uh, played Skyrim yet, or if you're thinking about going to get it but you're not sure, go get it. It's so, so awesome. Um, the reason why I'm not doing a Let's Play on it right this second is because I kind of want to experience the game a bit before I go ahead and try talking to you guys about it because it's all brand new to me. So, as is everybody else. Who are you? What are you doing? Good afternoon. Um, okay. See it, no fog is good. You can see it from a good distance. Ah, oh, family jumping. 